hello friends welcome back to unity 3d teacher tutorial in, in, the, in the last tutorial we have seen the introduction about the tapping game so this is the game i have shown the introduction about the game so we are going to see how to do that in this series so we are going to see how to do the basic platform for this game so let's begin so before that make sure that you have downloaded the file from unity3dteacher.com slash tutorial package dot html from there you can find borrowed tapping game azot from there you need to download the azot file so that we can use for our game just gra grab the file to the project C project and then wait for the project to be imported so just select we need to make sure that everything should be sprite so I'm just changing from texture type to default to sprite because unity UI supports sprite system so I'm going to change everything in sprite so change from default to sprite 2d and then apply and then this is the sound file you don't need to do anything you just make sure that it is have here so let's start create click on the game object and then create UI or you can select over the RHG panel and then click on UI and then select canvas from this canvas you need to change the canvas system from constant pixel to scale with screen size to make sure that every UA is perfect you need to change from constant pixel to scale scale with screen size and then just click on the UA and then click on the image in order to use that image since we are doing for Android game we need to make sure it, the project is converted in Android so I, I'm just switching the project to Android file it's switched off now and then make sure that everything every setting will be converted for Android that's it so everything is fine now we can be able to use for Android system so just select maximum resolution we are doing for portrait so make sure that you are in portrait mode and then click on the scale with screen size change to scale with screen size again make sure it should be in portrait and then just import the image of background image over here and then select setup not native this is the original size we need to increase little bit more to make them is perfect use control plus plus shift to make them squeeze all the size all the side equally so it's not a problem if you if it go outside the scene outside the canvas window and then click on the red transform position and then select and then select shift alt and then select stretch to make sure that the anchor is perfect that's it and then rename it as bg so this is the basic bg we are going to have it for every scene so i am going to duplicate the scene create a folder called scene name it as game scene so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate everything because every scene I'm going to have a background so I want to make sure that everything is perfect right now just check on every screen yeah it's working fine we can 
it can able to change so I'm just duplicating the scene duplicate this scene and my make this scene as main menu and we are going to duplicate two more scenes one for game over and then options so this is it so just go to the game scene let's we fix the platform we set the platform for a game scene so click on the UI and then click on the image after that you just need to drag the platform over the image and then select set as negative and then just drag over the bottom of your screen just scale the platform to make it fit for uh, the scene that's it so I'm just going to have very top and then just make it small so this is a perfect and then just rename it as platform bottom and just have the same platform on the top side so we want to check whether the volume is going over the top of a platform so I am having over here and we want to rename it as platform top so this is ok but just change the transform and then just move over below top ok just check the every resolution yeah it's working fine now we are going to do is we are going to import our hero it's a balloon I just have it and then select set of native this size is not needed I'm just squeezing a little bit smaller I think this must be okay okay this is fine so we rename it as balloon after that we are going to have UI text to get the output of your text output of your tapping each tapping of your balloon so I am going to add at the top of your screen select and then make it top and then change the alignment to center and then change it center and then make it best, best fit and then make a little bit larger I think this is fine so we just create a bg for a image bg for the text make it, it top center like this and then make the child of a bg name it as text bg and then just rename it as text score score display that's it so in order to make a collision we can't be able to use unity ui so I, what i'm going to do is i'm we can't be able to add rigid body 2d over here and we can't able to make collision so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this platform top platform bottom everything just change the color so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the canvas to screen space screen space overlay to camera 
and then drag the camera to the canvas so just create game object instead of UA for predicting a collision we need to use sprite so I just have a sprite drag the balloon over there if you see you can't be able to find that just make sure that everything should be zero yeah it should it should game now similarly you need to do for the platform 2d sprite and then just duplicate it and then just drag and drop platform over here so this is it so just rename the resize the bottom like we did already in UA so we now to make sure the size is okay rename it as balloon and then just change the platform name and then resize the platform so don't look over here just check on the output so we don't want to need to see in editor panel so everything should work fine so that I forgot to make perspective to orthographic so I'm just doing that perspective to autogra orthographic so this is a perfect because since we are doing a 2d game so it, it, it should be in orthographic if you need both 2d and 3d you should need perspective and orthographic right now i need only orthographic so i just use orthographic so just drag the platform this is something little bit higher okay you should have this platform duplicate it it should be platform bottom platform underscore bottom and then platform underscore top just change the top over upper cell it should not reflect in the editor uh, in scene view so I'm just making it a little bit higher so this is a balloon you can have that's it so this is the basic system we have done the setting up the platform which we needed for our project our gameplay so in the next tutorial we are going to see how to add physics for our game so thanks for watching and please subscribe us i will see you in next video thank you